They say no man enters the same river twice, for it is not the same river, and he is not the same man. No turning back. We've just passed the truck now. Um, I don't think this is a good idea. We're so close to capsizing. Do you realize that? And everything could end. Time to run it, Ryan. We got places to be. Man, smallmouth bass. Beautiful, Wisconsin musky, baby. One hundred miles on the river will break a lot of things. Chris Gear, saving the day. <laughs> body I think I broke parts, my foot. The human spirit. Just how much can a river change a man? Monday morning. You hear that? That's my head. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> You might not have enough, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. 25 bucks. You think you accept Canadian? So we have 1,200. How much do we need? Two. Two grand? Can you count this? We need to go to Reedsburg. We need to get money. This is a smoking deal for two grand. That's a good call. It's got life jackets. Here's the, yeah, live well. Life jackets, cover. We do not have a lot of money left over. Okay, so this is it. Okay. Perfect. All right, 2000 $2,000. Perfect. Here's 500 500 Okay. Yeah, should we try and pick it up? Mm -hmm. I mean, we already bought the boat, so it's kind of too late now. Mm. Cool. Thank you so much. I think it's gonna be interesting if we can pull this, if we can, if we can haul this boat around. We got a boat, we got a plan, we got a place where we're gonna launch. It's looking up for AP Bassin. This is it, this is part of it. Look at that spot. Camp right there. Let's just carry it down. Let's see how bad it is to carry it down there. Carry that. You want to carry this? Switch. You got to hold the camera. Though. You're trying to tell me at every single dam you want to get out and plug that. I way. think we should bring the buggy for this. Yeah, we need a buggy.
one stop and then the Wisconsin River. Yep. Okay, let's load the truck up. We don't have a sleeping bag for you. What else don't we have? Is that sleeping it? bags. Sleeping bags. But right now you have nowhere to sleep. Right. So like I can't figure out how you how what you're gonna do. I got myself figured out. Do you? Yeah, I did. Have you you're figured out right now? Yeah, dude. First time ever? I don't even have to stop anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just night crawlers. I'll dig those up on the side of the ditch though if I have to. We need a prop too. Let's just get a prop? <laughs> that seems like a little bit excessive. What do you think? I'm gonna ruin this prop? It's you see feel that prop? That thing's bendy, man. That thing's nice and ready to hit a couple dingers in it. <laughs> Just bop bop. How many river rocks are you gonna hit today, buddy? Um uh, today I'm gonna say two. Tomorrow I'm gonna say three. And the day after that I'm gonna say I'll be surprised if we make it that far. <laughs> What are you going to do with that? Put it on the bottom of the job boat and wheel the job boat. You got everything? No. Ever? A bunch of hobos. What else we need? Dude, we got everything. Smart style. Here. All right. Ready to go. Okay. We didn't bring the live scope, dude. I, we said no live scope. And you told me no chainsaw. Going down a river, going to be camping, setting up camps on these dead heads, on these freaking river eddies that you could literally cut down trees on. And no, dude, don't bring the chainsaw. We got to bring this cooler full of granola bars, dude. Uh, idiot. This was meant to be. I need that fucking unlit. Oh, full shit, oh, bro. Oh, shit. Get that other one. Okay. Sure you don't need water? I think we got everything. Got everything. Where's the ramp hole? There it is. Holy. It's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful place. It really is. The best river in the world. Debatable. Debatable. Always debatable question. How many people have this launch here? Oh wow, it's not even a launch. Sick. Alex. <laughs> I'm gonna lift the front, you're gonna lift the back, we're gonna lift it and put it onto that. We're gonna wheel this down. Tell them when you're ready. Three, two, one. Oh wait, stop, hold on, sorry. Might help if I unhook it first. There's no way, it's gotta be broken already, dude. It's actually perfect. Dude, no, you gotta, you gotta get out of there, bro. It's gonna go really hard in a second here. I know, hey. we have rocks down here, so we gotta take it slow. Put her into, this, into the woods here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put it right in that water there, kind of in that shape. Oh wow, there's no plug in this one. Now we already have a bunch of water to start off with. I think we brought enough stuff. Oh my god. Might, we might have too much stuff. Do we need to de do we need to get rid of stuff now? Yeah, what, what are we gonna get rid of? Your sleeping bag? We're gonna go upriver first. We're gonna check out a spot upriver if we can make it. 
and then we'll slowly make our way down river as we bump into a couple rocks and have a few laughs along the way. I'm really just extending this intro because I know that what's about to take place here is not gonna be fun. Because we haven't figured out our motor yet. <laughs> yeah. The motor hasn't started up. Does the tilt and trim not work? We are gonna zing our prop off right here. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> This is where we're gonna zing it off, dude. <laughs> Trying to make it up this. You tighten that motor down, you stay right here, okay? Be on the motor, be ready. Plug the motor in, get her some gas, get her all set up. AP Bassin's doing AP Bassin things. the river we got anchor down I'm gonna get the boat all primed up and ready to roll ready to rock and roll they say all right so as soon as I start it you're gonna get them that anchor up right yep and you're gonna stay at the front of the boat and anytime I tell you to drop the anchor you're gonna drop the anchor okay because we're gonna stall out and like hit rocks this is not gonna be fun <laughs> it's a good test to see how, how weight balanced we are right now we got a lot of weight to the left side and she's still holding This is the ultimate Wisconsin river boat. This is. I wouldn't want anything more. Gotta scream if it's getting shallow or I'm gonna hit something. Drop it. Make it up. Going down river is gonna be so much easier than going up river. Got my mule here. Just Paddle me right to the locals. Oh, thanks. Saying, where do you want to go? Like, Just keep going up. We are still so far from it. We're so far. I love Google. Google Maps is so awesome. You're able to find some really cool stuff from it. That breeze blowing in. I got a Rapala Super Shad about to be hooked up. It really could be go time here. I've got like six pound mono tied to it. I'm not sure when the last time I was using this was. Let's just take one little cast right here, just sitting here. Okay, that was maybe a little bit too aggressive. I'm going to uh, try and make it a little bit closer over there so I can take a couple casts with the beaver. Unfortunately, no fish. Really was disappointing. Now the clouds are coming in. I'm sure it's going to storm the first six hours. So now no more going upriver. We kind of did a little bit exploring wasn't worth it now we float down we don't have to fight any current we just got to sit here fish our way down and hope for the best let's see what happens be care everybody be careful you could hit something at any point this thing is this thing is epic this boat this boat literally is dude imagine like a nice like 40 Nice 38 incher just fing slapping this thing. We're done with that. 
No more food. Think that's possible for us? For today? For today. Yeah, can't open up the cooler anymore. We got too much stuff in here. We're drafting a little heavy for the Wisco. <laughs> it's not really that bad though. What? Just a couple nicks. All right, so this is where we decide do we want to like keep going or do we just get out and call it? It didn't work, dude. What do you mean it didn't work? If we caught a muskie, we would have been like, all right, let's catch sturgeon, let's go. The muskie didn't happen. I'm throwing a gold spoon right now. We're about to catch ourselves some dinner. Right now, we could possibly just say, you know, that was fun, and go fish somewhere else tomorrow with this rig. We could go camp in a campsite. We could do this, we could do what smart people would do. You know, because right now we got the truck. We don't have to have anybody pick us up. We're not going to go try and portage over like seven dams, try and travel across the state of Wisconsin in four days via the Wisconsin River, because nobody does that, or we keep going. I'm down to call it quits. If we're about to say we want to be out Sunday, we're going to have to find a ride up to this truck. Danielle can't take us to Sunday. I hope she is. She's like, send me, send me your coordinates of where you put in and where you're going to take it out and what days so I know in case you don't have service. And I just ghosted her. Okay, well, that was a bad plan. It wasn't a great one. It wasn't a great one, I'll tell you that. Oh, gosh. This looks juice. I think we got to keep going. But I don't know how smart of an idea this is. Oh, my gosh, dude. Who's got a freaking bait in the water right now? Nobody's even going to fish this little pool. Oh. This is kind of sketchy. It feels like we're going kind of fast here. Oh, f oh, stop. Oh, f we're done. We're done. Hold the camera. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're so close to capsizing. Do you realize that? Sit on this side. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Oh my god, dude! No! No, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! <laughs> Go, go, get me going, get me going. The motor, the motor, the motor. Oh, the motor. Oh, we're gonna be here. Dude, what am I gonna do with this? You gotta break it off. No turning back. We've just passed the truck now. Um, I don't think this is a good idea. This is gonna be bad. Where's the, where's the ore? Oh gosh. We can still turn around. Nope. Okay, just want you to know, we're five days into this, and the wall, and it's fucking cold that night, and we have nowhere to fucking go. And what are we gonna do over there? Just keep floating? Just live, man. We're just gonna live, dude. Dude, we're just gonna live on this river. Not the river. <laughs> oh, thanks, cameraman. Oh, it is really big. <laughs> Top water, smallmouth. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. Welcome to the Wisconsin River, first fish. He's in, a, he's in a big old hair rod. Love that fight. Love that fight. Oh, meat pie. Get a Oh my gosh. Ooh, she's got a mark on her tail. Maybe a muskie got her. This could be a good little spot to try and cast for some muskies. Man, smallmouth bass. Go 
gorgeous. Time to run it, Ryan. We got places to be. This one sounds kind of vicious, man. So, Ryan, how much fun are you having? Right this very moment? Yes. I'm going to be having more fun once these rapids are over. Are you ready to set up camp? I'm ready to set up camp. Ready to set up camp. He's ready to set up camp. We're out here on the Wisconsin River, like I said, maybe 150 times. The Wisconsin River is home to water, rocks, more and water. frankly, lots of rocks. Luckily, we're in an aluminum jumbo. Probably have to pop, up a pop out a couple rivets after this. I learned how to do that. Pretty much, I could solve all my problems now. Glad he's got his sleeping bag out. That's gonna be nice and dry tonight. He'll be a happy camper. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude, we're so. Which way? You gotta go this way. Right? Hug the shore still? Yeah. Really? You wanna see? That's the only way. We're just gonna lift it. Paddle, paddle. Brace, brace for impact. Push from your front, push from that front. Right side, front right. Push that one. I'm not trusting right now. And everything could end. What do you mean? <laughs> this rabbit is bro. What, what are you gonna do if you hook a musky, bro? Don't worry about die. that once I hook him. Oh, grace, grace. Alright, this one. Oh. Hold on. God. Not turn on the motor. What are you about to do? What are you about? What the f is this? No, bro. Oh, it's over. That holder's so big. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right here, right here, right here. You gotta go right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle. You gotta scoot off right here. Do you you not make it. Oh. <laughs> camera I didn't bolt it out and go right there, but you gotta be really careful this boat can slip on. This rock is crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta come out here. Come over here with me. With me. Get out? Yep. Put the GoPro down. What if I go on this side? No, come here. Trust. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're gonna put a hole in this boat right now. It's so bad. What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Back to the boat. Back to the boat. Get out on that boat. That rock right there. Turn, 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 turn. Holy sh. I think we did it in the nick of time. Once we get to this lake, it'll be easier, but then we gotta go below a dam again, then it gets hard again. We gotta inspect this boat. We gotta, tonight we're gonna have to take everything out and flip it over and look at the bottom. I'm serious, there could be a huge gash on it. Look how much water we have. I got some, I, hey, you'll be proud of me. The guy in leaky rivets. We'll be able to water fix well. We'll be able to fix him. All right, I'm gonna get this drone in.
Found a beautiful camping spot, so we'll probably get some shots in the morning. It's getting laid out. We're gonna have to bust out the headlights. I'm working on, I wanna have a three rod setup tonight. So I wanna have three rods going. I've got mosquitoes maybe making a nest inside of my ear right now. There we go. And that, I'll be able to sit in my hammock, shine the headlight on there and see if there's a couple, couple tappies. I like my setup. No bug net yet, but we'll get the bug net out here. Whew, I deserve this. This is sick. Yeah, so if I sit, I'll fall asleep right now. What do you say? Steak Sammies? Steak Sammies. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Full day today. We're going to try and cover some miles. Hopefully, catch some fish along the way. We got a pack of a lot of shit. Not that much. Drag up the hammocks. According to my buddy Chris, I'm about to fish the best stretch of the whole river. Take it or leave it. Let's go. If we catch a 50, the fishing's over. I would just rip home then, I think. Oh my god. Just had our first bite. Gosh, almighty. Would have been awesome to catch that, wouldn't it? Up. Nonetheless, still an amazing opportunity today. We're fishing this beach right here just because, you know, it is August. The big girls do like to sunbathe, so I'm gonna fish right where they're at. Not gonna, you know, get too complicated with it out here. Just gonna go to the beach and look for some busties. Just some big bitches on the beach. First major dam on the trip. I'm gonna take one more cast just because I'm really not looking forward to this. Some might say that these dams are kind of a nuisance if you're trying to travel the river. And you know, I'd agree with that. They are kind of a nuisance. I mean, I'd love to not have to deal with this right now. Wouldn't you? Yep. It'd be nice. The blondes were not at the beach this morning. Really fucking sad. Wow, okay, that was sick, guys. So how many buskies did you catch in that stretch? Oh, too many to count. Hold, brace, brace for impact, brace for impact. Could I have done a better park job? Come on. Give it to me, lock it. What to be able to spot a walk over here? We are walking over here. I mean, we easily could just drag it through that. Yeah. This is, this is easy. Now, this is kind of a disaster. It's like once you get over here. I don't even say it's easy because, like, this whole thing. Oh my gosh, dude, this is not going to be easy. Hopefully, it fixes it. This looks fucking legit. Oh, this isn't bad. We can launch right there. All right, let's go. We gotta move. We gotta move. Yeah, I wonder why. Why they built this. But I also love how it looks below there. Woo, does it look like? <laughs> it looks like you shouldn't be allowed to fish 2,500 yards in front of a dam. Like the whole dam should always be off limits in my opinion. That's where all the fish are. We're gonna lay the motor down on the side. We're then gonna push the boat. We're gonna see how it feels without anything. Then we're gonna put the cart on once we get it down to there. Cart it all the way we over there. We gotta take all the shit out though. No. Dude, there's no way we can get the boat up there and uh, down without all the shit. We're gonna shit. keep as much shit as we can until we can't go no more. Barely. I'm 
be a Hercules. I just put it like right. Yeah, pull that plug. Hey, let's leave this boat right here. Let's let it drain. Let's let it dry out. Let's take a couple heavy things. The cooler, the motor. Let's pull it on top of the things with the slide. Let's go right now. He ain't sliding anyway. He's got a perfect angle for the sun to dry her out. Let's go and to find out. Ooh, full Yeti. 45, let's go. Let's go grab two other things, bring them here. Nice little cool down. I'm gonna jump in the lake once I'm done. I think everything else we can put in the boat. We'll put it over on its other side when you leave it though. I'm just gonna go right under those rocks. Oh, you're gonna make it all the way? Yeah. Okay. Let's see how much lighter it is. A lot lighter? Yeah, but. Should we just load it up here? Like this stuff? Yeah, throw that in there, throw the sink bag in there, throw the rod in there, I think. I'm just gonna go, should we go really high? Or should we go low? Let me just turn it Get out of the way, get out of the way. It gets flatter over there, it's like gradual. Okay. You gotta go higher. More higher. Alright. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna push this forward now. See if it goes a little bit. There's no way. Push it forward. Dude, that was good. Ready? Ready. Lift up. Now slow. It's more of a push than a lift. Ready? Bent the axle? Yeah, high quality. Well, let's push it. <laughs> Just gonna push. What other options do we have? Five when you're ready. Hold on, we're gonna just lift it and carry it. See mm -hmm. how heavy it is. No. Whoa. Way too heavy in the front. This is fun. I think I push, then you push, then I, I push. I think we gotta just haul all this gear. No, we can push it at least to there. That's all we gotta get to. Right, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, three. We gotta keep her going as fast keep, as we can. Yeah, we gotta keep pressure. So we just can go. One, two, three. Felt good. I was going. We got pretty far that last run. Nice and easy, nice and controlled. Ready, set. I think we just start hauling, make this boat as light as possible. We're, kinda, we're hitting our heads against the wall. Hold on. We gotta take it up here. Three, two, one. I think we gotta do. You gotta be in the front. Guide me up. Then as soon as it's like teetering half, then you run to the back and push. We'll push it over. Be careful when we're pushing. We get stuck on a ribbon. We're way closer to getting done than we are. Not. 
Brand new 20 pound braid. Kind of light, but that'll do. To a three way swivel, three ounce weight, 50 pound floral. You may be asking yourself, 50 pound floral, what in the f are you fishing for? Except I know. That's the crawler rig. All right, we can put a freaking rig out in the river, an actual catfish rig. There's definitely not one bites that. Got two uh, catfish rods in, eating myself some overnight oats and some coffee. Just took a bath in the river, straight up hobo. People are gonna try and enjoy their beautiful Sunday morning and be like, what in God's name is that? I'm, as I crawl out of the dam, carrying a John boat, all sorts of stuff in my underwear. It's a sight to see this morning on the Wisconsin River. One of the many attractions you could run into. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast, get back on the river, hopefully catch a muskie. How are the strawberries? Really good. Oh my gosh. Wish I had some chocolate. Go. Ready to go. Let's try something else. A little twitch bait, why not? Actually, it too bad. All right, we haven't caught one this morning yet, so let's fish for bass. Hey, why don't you ever catch any muskies, Alex? Uh, um, because I got a bass rod in the boat, dude. Oh, look at this spot. This might be the death of us, or we might survive it. Oh my gosh, got him. Hand him. Hand him. Hand that girl. Got her. Got old Betsy here, do you? Oh, on a show for us. Bunk it up. Got the old 50 inch medium out. Having a little fun. Toying on a few. Toying on a couple. Getting a phone call. Should we answer that? Tim Wells? Tim Wells. <laughs> Morning, Tim. Where you at? Wisconsin River, I got one on. Put that pole down, I'm gonna ride down the shitter. You ain't going with us. All right, I'm, I'm putting the pole down. Just nice small mouth. I gotta always hook up these treble hook baits. See them? Mm -hmm. The, the one like sharked at it first, right? And then. Yeah, the, the one that did it at first was a lot bigger than yeah. that. Yeah. What was that? I thought that rock. The key to this game is always keeping your boat going down the river. Keep your nose pointed down. Shoulder is trash, brother. One dam, one portage, done. I think the next one we just send everything over and hope. Just get loose collected at the bottom of the This feels like it could be a spot where a muscaloin hangs out. Hey guys. Hey. 
We're gonna float into this back bay, try and stick a large mouth. The muskies have been avoiding us. I can think of a lot of reasons why. Yeah. No one wants to hear my excuses. Is it following? Oh, that was a good one. That drag was not set. Everybody see that? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we took... What was that? That was bass, wasn't it? I don't know. He took half my worm like that? That easy? What a terrible good job. It doesn't even matter. All right, let's try it one more time. Maybe the third time is the charm here. Just missed the fish for the second time. I'll throw it in there. Maybe we'll let him eat it this time. Oh, we'll keep it fast. That was sick. What was that? Glad I got to experience that. All right, can you give me another hook, sir? Mm -hmm. That was a big fish, that's all we know. Could have been a pike, I guess, right? Definitely could have been a pike. We'll never know, though. This looks juice. Oh, no, yeah, that was sick. Wow, I suck. Wow, do I suck. Nice pass, nice large mouth. Oh my gosh, that one. I didn't set the hook hard enough. I didn't want to. That was a musky? That was a musky. You sure? Mm -hmm. Or a pike. There's no way that was a bass. Dang it, I screwed that up big time. Oh I didn't. I lost him. You didn't? Felt the pet off. That's not a bass, dude. What was that? I don't know, but it was really, really big. Dude, what was that? No, we know we know that wasn't a bass. Three video fish. They're pike. Maybe that's us. That one though I moved. Dude, that had to be like a 40 inch pike. Like just a monster, dude. I fing moved him. Do I put a steel leader on? Never seen somebody use a steel leader with a Senko, but you know, it's what they want. You gotta give them what they want. Oh, he missed it? Oh, another one. You know what, we'll catch that one first. Dude, I could've had an epic video today. I'm really screwing it up for us. I don't like to tang, I don't like to get a touch of the beast. I like to tangle with the beast. I want the, the beast to be in my net. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? It looks like we might be able to just send it right off the right side. It looks like it's maybe like a 10 foot drop. If we hit it fast enough, I think we'll be fine. I think step one is to move everything over there. Step two is to get the boat. Once, the, once everything's over there, the boat's the worst. I think we just gotta nut up and do it. All the fishing. You fish here a lot? Yeah. What, what do you usually catch? Nice. Here? On what? Same thing. This thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we're uh, we're floating the river with a with a John boat. We didn't realize how hard it was going to be. So we got to do that whole portage now. So we got to just carry all our sh down the river. Well, cool. Wish you luck. What's your name by chance? Uh, Alex. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you watch some of my videos? I watch you, John, and Olivia. Cool. All the way up here. Dude, I love Wisconsin. <laughs> you think we should put it on there right now? Why not? If we can get all this and then we can just come back and do a slide right in the back. It'd be easy. Chris saving the day.
think we should just pile all the stuff up right here. Can you imagine what my spirits would have been like? <laughs> you that? Yep. Good. Let's see what there is to walk to. go towards the dam or not. Oh gosh, it looks so good up there. Oh my gosh. Look at that pool this over there. This is crazy. How big? Bit you off? on that fish. My guess would be maybe 39 and a half inches long. So that fish ate it actually in the figure eight. I was messing around. There's these deep pools by the dam and that fish came out of nowhere, slashed it. Luckily Ryan was able to get the net and just all around teamwork. Great job, losing my voice, screaming. We've got a high note for the Wisconsin River float trip. Muskie down.
That was great. I thought I was gonna die there for a second, bro. Look where our boat was, dude. <laughs> I think I broke my foot. So bad, my toe, my big toe, just slammed in between the rock and the boat. Dude, I saw the gate slowly coming up, and I'm like, no! Holy sh dude. It's gonna turn him on, dude. There's more water flow. I feel like they should give you like a 10 minute warning. As it was beeping, it was going up. Push hard and then pull up. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Oh, crazy. Good old 40 inch or fell for the super shad. Pull, 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 pull. Off, off. There's an eagle. Dice would be proud of me, dude. Hey guys, just saw a small blow up right there, so let's see if you. All right, so we've set up for the night. We've got a little kind of makeshift setup. Last night I was kind of struggling with getting my catfish rod set up, but today got three in, feel happy. Got some frogs on one, night crawlers on the other. Three ounce weight in the middle, one ounce right to the side, and then I'm one ounce right in the middle of this little river coming in. Yeah, I went across the river to get some, some wood. If you guys ever see like a, an island that's got like a big deadhead in front and there's a bunch of wood stacked up on it it's probably from the river when it's high brings a bunch of dead wood perfect that's what we need As the sun sets i'm gonna grill up we got two steaks that's really the only food we brought that wasn't cooked we've been eating just some sandwiches and a couple granola bars overnight oats we've had some good meals so far but tonight we're gonna have a steak i'm gonna put a shirt on so i don't end up like getting malaria out here i already got it what i found on a nice hot summer day after you've been on the river all day you wanna end up hopping into the water. Cool yourself down. It's great right before you go to bed. I swear a smallmouth just popped there. I have ADHD, I need to catch that fish. So we need to hurry up here. What we've got, found some birch bark over there too. You know, it's crazy how flammable this stuff is. Real sick demonstration there, Alex. She'll get going, throw a couple leagues in there. First time, first time starting to fire. Amazing it happened. Might be a little too hot. I'm gonna put that one on and I'm gonna put the other one on here in a second. I could put some broccoli on too. Broccoli? So. Okay, broccoli. Big? This scene is awesome. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy sh Dude, what the heck? Look at that smallmouth. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> I told you. Dude, it's so big. Bud wanted a little little evening snack. Look at that thing. Wow. Wow. Wouldn't you want to try some, buddy? I am going to try some. Nope, this one's mine. No way. You got to cook Half, here. half. Try a piece of this cap. Oh, dude, that's almost better than the Traeger. Jeez, hard to beat the Traeger. That is fire. We ate good today.
15 minutes, we can clean up in 15 minutes. What do you think? I don't have to go far. Maybe I'm unrealistic with my time frames. What do you think about 10 minutes maybe? Five <laughs> minutes? Just throw it all in. Just no organization? Wait, you're telling me you had organization on this trip? No, we didn't have organization. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I don't know what it was, but between the hours of 10.30 last night and like 1.30, the fish were literally... <laughs> There was beavers like making noises, there was muskies eating, smallies were eating. And every time I get up, like, well not every time, I got up like three times, no jokes. It was so crazy. I'd throw my lure and I couldn't tell exactly like where the blow ups were coming from. So I thought I was on the blow ups, but apparently I wasn't. Or they just like were eating so quickly by the time I cast it and got out of my hammock, they were gone. But it was obnoxious. The, the fish that were feeding last night were, was obnoxious. We left one rig in last night the one with the frogs and no bait. You can't keep a night crawler on the bottom of this river for more than 10 minutes without be it being gone, but nothing bites it, so I think the crayfish are eating it. Our bottom fishing techniques have just not been there. It really is a shame that we can't get any bottom fish. I'm gonna keep trying. It's uh, officially three days into this. I don't even think this is from us. No. We're gonna pick up this rubber band because it's not ours and it doesn't belong in the woods. I'll need something to slap Ryan at night with, so I got this. <laughs> Anyways, the river looks beautiful. It's 7 a.m. I got a couple top waters on if you aren't surprised. Let's go see what happens. Let's go uh, wet a line, set the hook, sharpen a few hooks, test a few knots. You know how it goes. Where am I to start? Today's been rough. It's going very well. Best day ever. Real early Monday morning. Trying to get a bite out here. Just can't. Just can't. Everything looks so good. trying to improve my vision for life and you know what pisses me off more than anything these stupid ass youtube videos where somebody's just talking for 45 minutes about absolutely nonsense it's like oh here we are now i'm gonna go do this now i'm gonna go do that why not just do it and then you don't have to talk about all right it. so right now i'm gonna <laughs> go and fish this this river channel because i'm fishing the river and there's definitely a channel here but no i got a little pool Two rivers are meeting, deep water, three-way rig. I'm tr I'm literally trying to catch another species. I've been trying. Smallmouth and muskies, check. Catfish, no check. Maybe this will be the spot though. Little day mission, little day cat mission. Nightcrawler, come on. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty disappointed. Worms are crazy, dude. Catfishing was a fail. No, we don't need to tell them that. You do. Baker's not up. I am underwear list right now. Okay, they might want to be like prepared to bow here. It's good to be one where it's not like it's probably the most unsafe one. Really? Yeah. Have anything we've done yet? Yeah. He said it. 
it. <laughs> Take this. We're gonna lose all our shit, dude. <laughs> Take this. Dude, this is insanity. I don't know if we're gonna make it through this, honestly. I really don't. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, a bit. <laughs> Alright. I really don't know what we should do here. You need to come to the back of the boat. For sure. You need to bring that Dakota lithium to the back. We need to fing pile drive this thing in the back. I'm not gonna go that fast, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go slow. We just gotta make sure all of our weight's in the back. Because if we bob down real hard, does it look like there's a drop? Come to the back. Sit right here. Sit right there. All right, bro. Here we go. Okay. Right here. Dude, this way. More this way? Yes. So dumb. You're gonna hit that thing right there. What? Pull up the motor. Oh. 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 sure I want to accept defeat on this idea in, in a way that it's better just to launch and trek up to spots the, the idea of just oh you got to float down and you'll hit everything is awesome but it's until, just, until it's not it's yeah. not realistic it really is and the thing about the Wisco River man you probably fished it every day for a year I won't even scratch the surface. The place is huge. So big. In the end, Mother Nature always wins. We don't need to film this. Whenever you say that, usually the best content follows. <laughs> to all the haters who said that I told you so. You were right. <laughs>